We're at Davos here today with Hamdi Yulakaya, the founder and CEO of Chobani Yogurts. Thank you for being with us here today. Um, the question on everybody's minds here at Davos is with a new administration starting tomorrow, we're just 24 hours from a Trump administration, what do you expect from this administration? Clearly this is an administration that has been elected and driven by a lot of disaffection among workers, among with the, the system in the U.S. Um, how do you feel about it? What do you expect? Well, I just came from a panel, we pretty much talked about the same issue about the income in inequality and I think what we're expecting to see is how we're going to make sure that we s immediately get into this topic and, and how, you know, how do we make sure that the people who are left behind uh, and struggling can have an opportunity in this 21st century America. Um, you know, I operate in very small towns in upstate New York and, uh, and in Idaho. I clearly see the struggle. I've been talking about it for years, how important these factories, these manufacturing places are for the people that who live in these areas. And not only that, is how do we make sure that this new way of manufacturing, new way of plants, are operated with the company, the employees, and the communities that everyone has a, sh has a stake on this, uh, this new success because, uh, you know, we might, we, we could talk about, you know, the administrations and the, the, the new president and, and, and the policies, but in the end it comes down to people like us, the CEOs and the business people who has to acknowledge this and has to do something about it because otherwise this gap is going to get wider and wider. And I think you've actually brought refugees and, and migrants to come in and work in your in your in your company as well. Yes. You certainly have been very outspoken about the uh, the problem with refugees. Do you think certainly in the in the West, in Europe, and in the U.S., there's been a turn certainly against immigration? The waves of refugees in the, in Europe have certainly kind of sparked this backlash against it. I mean, what, how can we can can we respond to that in some ways? Can the business community respond to that in some right. ways? So we're facing one of the most. Um, Troubling human, uh, you know, tragedy in in the recent history. In 19, since 1940s, we didn't have this much, you know, refugees around the world, and and it's it's, it's very bad, and it's bad for so many reasons. Bad for them, bad for where uh, where the world is today, and and it's really bad if we don't respond to it. What happens to the humanity, you know, going forward? Uh, I care about this uh, these things, you know, deeply. Um, when I started my plant in upstate New York, the Utica is one of the settlement area where the refugees are settled. And this is the people the U.S. government picks, you know, from certain amount of different, different areas of uh, camps, and, and it's about 19 different nationalities from Asia to Africa to Middle East. Um, the problem is, as they come, that's not the end of the story. They are in the safe zone, of course. They're in a new place, uh, and they have working permit. The problem is, for a bigger portion of them, they don't have language, they don't have transportation, they don't have a lot of, you know, they don't know many people. So the job is the first thing that they need to find, so they can build their new life. Uh, and I always say, the minute they have a job, that's the minute that they stop being a refugee, and that's the part. That's the minute that they stop being a part of the community. So as we grew our company in, in, in South Edmiston, when we realized that there were people out there that they couldn't find a job, with the community's help, we brought them in and, and make them part of the uh, workforce. And so we have about 300 of them in South Ed and 300 of them in. What we have to do is give them an opportunity to be part of the community and society. And I'm proud to say is all my colleagues and partners in the company with these 19 different nationalities, it's in the it's the most beautiful scenery when they are shoulder to shoulder uh, making yogurt and building life. Thank you very much. We appreciate it. Thank you Thank so you. much. Thank you.